we know that the average total cost of producing Q units of output, sometimes just referred to rather than ATC, sometimes we see this as just AC for average cost. Again, this is just a function of Q units of output. We know that this is equal to the total cost of producing two units of output, or just total cost as a function of Q, divided by Q. But what do we do when we have a situation where a firm produces not just one output, but two different outputs, so that we can think about this Q as equal to some Q1 of one type of output plus some Q2 of another type of output. In some cases, we might have a total cost function that actually takes this into account. In those sorts of situations, we might see a total cost function that is a function of both Q1 and Q2. If we have this sort of a situation, then we could say that our average total cost would also be a function of both Q1 and Q2. And we could use our average total cost formula pretty directly and just modify it a little bit. And we could say that the average total cost of producing Q1 of the first output and Q2 of the second output is just equal to the total cost with Q1 and Q2 as parameters to that total cost function divided by the total quantity of output, which of course is just Q1 plus Q2. So let's do an example. Here we have a total cost function, again with Q1 and Q2 as parameters. That's just equal to 10 plus 5Q1 plus 3Q2. And let's just say our Q1 or our quantity produced of our first output is 4, and our Q2 or our quantity produced of our second output is six. We can then calculate average total cost by just plugging everything in, and we can say average total cost, notice I'm not writing the Q1 and Q2 as parameters here, we can just say average total cost is equal to the total cost, which is now 10 plus five times Q1, where Q1 is four, so five times four, plus three times Q2, which is now six, divided by Q1 plus Q2, which is just 4 plus 6. And if we were to multiply that all out, we get 48 over 10, or an average total cost of 4.8. Alternatively, you could just write the average total cost formula algebraically, and so you could say that average total cost, again, implicitly as a function of Q1 and Q2, is just equal to 10 plus 5q1 plus 3q2 over q1 plus q2. And if you wanted to, you could simplify that a little bit, but be careful that you're not messing up your math. You could say that this is equal to 10 plus 2q1 plus 3 times, notice I just factored out quantity, Q1 plus Q2, all divided by Q1 plus Q2. I'm just trying to get some things to cancel out here, right? And so this would just be equal to 10 plus 2Q1 over Q1 plus Q2, plus, and notice now we have a term where the Q1 plus Q2s cancel out, so this would just be plus 3. And you can test this by, again, plugging in 4 for Q1 and 6 for Q2. If you did that, you just get 10 plus 2 times 4 over 4 plus 6, which is just 10 plus 3, which is going to be 1.8 plus 3, which is, again, 4.8. No surprise there. If you instead had two separate total cost functions, one for making output one and one for making output two, call them TC1 and TC2, you could just do your average total cost of producing Q1 of output one and Q2 of output two by just taking the total cost of producing Q1 of the first output plus 
the total cost of producing Q2 of the second output to give you an overall total cost, and then just divide by your total quantity, which is Q1 plus Q2. You could also see this as in this particular situation when you have the two separate total cost functions, you could see this as a weighted average of the average cost of the first output and the average cost of the second output, which is what the second line here is. That the Q1 over Q1 plus Q2 is just the fraction of total output that's Q1 times the average cost of producing that Q1 and then you add that to the fraction of output that is output 2 times the average total cost of producing output 2. So again, we can do an example. Here we have a situation where the total cost of producing Q units of the first output is just 5 plus Q squared, and the total cost of producing Q units of the second output is just 3 plus 2 Q squared, and let's just say that the quantity of our first output is 2 and the quantity of our second output is 3. If we were to do this, we could just plug in. If we look at the formula the first way, we could say that our average total cost is equal to 5 plus 2 squared plus 3 plus 2 times 3 squared all over... 2 plus 3, which if you add it all up is 30 over 5, which is an average total cost of 6. To use the second version of the formula, you need to have the average total cost functions for the associated total cost functions. And of course, you can just do that by dividing total cost by Q. So you see that average total cost for the first output is just total cost divided by Q, which simplifies to 5 divided by Q plus Q. And average total cost for the second output, again, is just total cost 2 divided by Q, which simplifies to 3 over Q plus 2Q. So again, we can just plug in for Q1 and Q2, and we get that average total cost is equal to Q1, which is 2, over Q1 plus Q2, which is 5. So just 2 over 5 times 5 over q1, which is 5 over 2, plus q1, which is 2, plus q2, which is 3, over the sum of q1 and q2, which is 5, times 3 over q2, which is 3, plus 2 times q2, which is 3. And if you put this all together, you see that this is equal to... 2 over 5 times 9 over 2 plus 3 over 5 times 7. And this all simplifies out to 9 over 5 plus 21 over 5, which not surprisingly, given what we got before, is just equal to 30 over 5, which is in fact 6.